So what day could it be? Just between you and me, I believe it's day 73. Who's ready to go see what kind of mischief we can get into today? Well, hey everybody, it is Old Big Mike back out here in Hoopty Barn with the Blue Goose, the old 31 Plymouth. And, as I said, it is day 73. Whew, well, they're going fast. So, yesterday, we got this dude back in there and started working on our cockpit situation here. As you can see, that's still way back in there. Well, all that is going to move up and out. My steering uh, column is going to come over and down. I've got a couple of little tricks. We're going to get that around them headers and such. Anywho, so we trimmed it all up. We've got some more trimming to do, obviously. And we're going to get this dude fitting in there. So, I guess first thing I'm going to do is get back to measuring and trimming and fitting and all that stuff. And uh, I'm going to, well, before I do that, I'm going to get that AC plugged in and try to cool it down before it gets ungodly hot in here. Because, I mean, right now it's getting real, real hot in the day like 100 degrees plus and 90 percent humidity which makes it feel like boiled eggs in here like my brain boiled eggs anyway so anyway i'm gonna get things plugged in i'm gonna get started i'm gonna get in there and i'm gonna start trimming and fitting and i'll be back as soon as i got a little bit of progress to show you what i got done Okay, so I'm a little slow on the uptake now and again, but I eventually get it figured out. So I'm going to go ahead and take the booster, the column, all that out of my cockpit assembly here. I'll try to fit the cockpit assembly in there and clamp it in place and then put everything back together in there and uh, see if we can do it that way. Now. I just wanted to take this opportunity to show you guys. I ain't got the biggest tool set or anything like that, but I wanted to show you something that is really, really, really beneficial. If you don't have one of these, you probably need to get one if you're going to do this kind of stuff. So I got a Harbor Freight wobble extension set. When you're getting down into something like this where you got to twist and turn and all that to get down into it, look at that. See right there? You can get right down in there. Makes that like a million times easier. So, yeah, just a little hoopty tip. Okay, well. See that? Pile of mess. You know what that means? <laughs> yeah. That means our cockpit assembly got a lot smaller. Here's from this side. All right, let's go inside and show you. So here's the plan. All right. I got her kind of up in there. My plan is I'm going to go ahead and put my bolts or my nuts on here and tighten this up. And then I'm going to raise this up to where it goes. I'll get it um, secured in there. Make sure I've got plenty of clearance around everything. Yeah, I had to bend that some more. And... We'll see if we can't manipulate this dude into place up there. Then we're just going to have to piece in the floor around everything. I mean, that's the way it goes when you hoopty and everything. But, 
I do think that this is going to save me a couple of days of trying to figure out how to get that stuff through there and get it all, you know, lined up right and all that stuff. So, whew, that's a lot. It's starting to get hot. So, I'm going to get back at it and uh, try and at least get a little bit more done before it gets too hot to work out here. So, here we go. Alright, so, it's got a steering wheel. No, it doesn't. We got another little roadblock. So, here's where things are. I can't open this door because I got a strap shut. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and take that accelerator pedal off. We'll just have to figure that out after the fact. Um, our steering column is way back here. It needs to go forward quite a bit. And I need my shaft out here to be at a little bit different angle. I need this to be down more down to here. I'm going to be putting two of these on here to change the angle to get down there to steer it. Um, but this needs to come forward too. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to have to, like I said, cut off that accelerator pedal part. I'm going to have to unhook this from here and I'm going to have to move it inside and build a bracket in there to mount this to so that it's farther forward. It was farther forward in the truck anyway. So, man, always something. <laughs> uh, it's getting hot out here. So. I think that's about as far as I'm going to be able to go today. And, uh, eh, we made some progress, man. I mean, looks a little different, right? So, appreciate y'all following along today. And, uh, if you ain't subscribed, go ahead and do so. If you don't mind. Hit that thumbs up. Thumbs down. Thumbs like that. <laughs> Hit that notification bell so you know when the next video comes out, which will be tomorrow. And until um, next time, y'all keep watching. I'll keep working. <laughs>